Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of the Iron Man Completion Series. If this is your first time watching, make sure to look in the description for the playlist so you can find episode 0 and start from the beginning. Hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, this is a loot from a Beastmaster kill I just did. I actually haven't done Beastmaster in a while. So, yep, let's see what we get. Okay, actually not, not, not at all like a lot of techie, but everything else is good, but okay. I'm actually, I just remember this, I'm actually like 500 in reputation from getting the reroll, so I really need to go get that, so I think I will definitely go get that soon enough. And by that I mean like probably like, like now, like I'll start doing this daily. Well, I'll just finish one of my other Slayer tasks and now I have Black Dragons to do next. Now obviously I will be doing either Queen Black Dragon or King Black Dragon. I've actually not decided yet which one I want to do next, like towards like the goal of like completing all drops. I may do half and half, a little bit of a little bit, because not gonna lie, 105 QBD is like a full day of QBD. It's like what? Even if it was if, if it's minimum 20 an hour, which I mean I can get probably more than 20 an hour, but let's pretend 20 an hour as it's about five hours of QBD. That is a lot of QBD in one day. So I don't, I personally like like Slayer Task about 30 minutes to an hour at the max, so I will probably do like an hour or two hours of QBD, and then we'll finish up a little bit at the KBD. Wow, guys, I just got the freaking 10 palm tree rare drop table. It's like, like you know, if I, if I was a main account, that'd be a mill I'd be getting, but you know, that's, that's a good farming XP right there. All right, there's another drop from this KBD task, another KBD head. I think that's like... Four for something out of my bank. I'm gonna definitely just keep them all because I don't need the money. But yep, got that. All right, so now finish my King Black Dragon task. I'm sitting at a comfortable 564 KC. Didn't get anything else for the rest of the task. But it's now time to pick the next task from Morvran. So let's see. Ooh, hmm. I think I'm actually gonna do this because I haven't done it yet for the comp cape, and I might as well just go ahead and get it done. So yeah, let me go. Let me take the special challenge. I will be back when I start that. All right, just did the first kill of the Morbron special task. I did Araxi first, and for fun, I brought an Araxi's eye, a spider leg top, and a spider leg middle. Because if I get a spider leg bottom from this kill, I could make my fourth Nox item. So it'd be pretty funny. But anyways, let's go ahead and loot the chest. Four or five could cash pretty good. I mean, I could pet chance this. Do I want to pet chance? No, I don't. I want money. Give me the money. All right, just finished the um, Morvron special task. Here, giant mole. Got one of two Slayer. Uh, got the famous title. Okay, so my next Slayer task is Calgarian Demons, and I actually went ahead and preferred them because I need the, um, the scrolls for the trim requirement if I ever get trim one day. Also, I need the, um, I think it's Demon Hunter gear. I need the, just for completion, so yeah. Alright guys, so I'm about to go do a return to Twin Furies with my friend Araxi. Maybe this time I can keep up that RNG that it seems that me and him always get when we're here. And maybe today we'll get something very nice, I guess, but... Oh, yes, I told you guys that he's the lucky Iron Man with me. Um, if you don't remember, about actually two episodes ago, I brought Araxi, and he got the Blade of Nymora. 99%, 99% sure. He isn't, oh well, but um, that's the Blade of Avarice, so I'm 99% sure he has the complete set now, which is so awesome. A little wait for recording, but just got 102 strength here at the Twin Furies. Only got a few, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, okay, that's good. Almost lost my Yuki Yak right there, but um... Got a few more minutes left on the instance, and then I have a hardened elite clue I have to go do. So we go and bank, start the new instance. Zamorak Essence number 16. Honestly, I'm not even mad anymore about these. They just, I think, they're just, I think what they are, they're just probably really common. Unless I'm like the only person that gets them, but I think they're just such a common drop. It's like getting a God Sword shard. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't complain about them. <laughs> it actually happened? <laughs> Oh, it actually happened. Oh, it actually happened. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Well, let's look at the KC. 1184. Whew, let's get the second one real quick. 
real quick, forgot to talk about this. I didn't even realize, but um, I passed the uh, third threshold for the pet, which is um, every 400 kills you get, you know, you get like a little bump, I guess, to your drop rate. So maybe that third one will come in. Not, not third one, like the second pet will come in sometime soon. I don't actually care for when the pet comes out until um. Basically until I get my third crest, then I'd want my pet. But yeah, the instance is about to end. Um, if I don't get anything else, I'll probably just go straight to my clues I have in my bank. But if I do, I will make sure to show you. Alright, so I finished my second hour of Twin Furies with Mr. Araxi. And I have here all the seals I got from actually my past three instances. But I only did two with them. I just stored some up for now. But I'm going to go ahead and hand them in here for... Some hell your reputation should give me 750 rep. Yes, it did. And now I actually unlocked two things I got the cosmetic and the um half KC. So now I'm about 500, but actually 460 um rep until my 5k. So it's pretty nice. But yep, I'm gonna go do my hardened elite clue now. So before I do my hardened elite clue, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and just combine the crust. And I'm 100% making the um, uh, Zaro's, not Zaro's, Zamrak um, body because I don't actually have a good DPS like body. My only other one would be like, I, I just don't have one. Like I've never got a middle plate body and I've never got a um body yet. So yeah gonna make that right now so I think all you do is attach and I guess I press attach and oh, oh my <laughs> why do we need so much of this okay combining the crests and armors universal action yes let's do that ooh there it is anima core body of Zamorak there it is so I guess it's time to go do my clues my hard and elite clue so I will be back with that Alright, so I have the hard casket and the elite casket as usual in my inventory. Now it's time to open up the hard casket first. <laughs> I'm just so glad that this is a reroll. Alright, 78k rerolled into a... Ooh, a couple costume tickets. I mean, that's kind of shit, but I always love them. Honestly, getting my fortunate components. Just because I like stacking them up. Let's see. And... I think it's the other way. Yep. And then, wow, oh, I didn't know Elite Clues could be that bad. Uh, what? Well, it's time, to, okay, time to reroll, and we will get, ooh, two Bandos Page 1s. Ooh, do I have, what Bandos Page do I have? Let's find out together, because I don't know. Okay. Page three and four. Oh wow, those are okay. Sweet. Now I have a bandos page one. All I need is a bandos page two, and then I can complete that book also. I'm actually, pretty close to finishing a few books: the ancient page and the bandos page. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the video and go try out this new port serum rework little um event that they're doing. I know it's. I heard it was similar to the um Faldor event, as in you gain like. A lot of nice XP, and I heard Anime can participate, so I'm gonna go try that out right now, and I'll be back with my results. So after trying it out for a couple minutes, I think I've pretty much gotten the hang of what to do. And one nice little tip, by the way, if anyone else is doing this. So you see right here, you're just doing it like an average, I don't know, what many ticks says, maybe four ticks. If instead, every time you get the um the XP drop, you click on it again, you'll go like so much. I think it's either double, like probably double the speed. So that is one nice thing. And then these also little things, these conch shells you get. For three minutes they speed up um your experience and tokens that you'll be gaining from it. So definitely when you're using it, it'd be a nice thing to um to click it. But if you don't want to, it, this is pretty good AFK play, so I'll I'll be back um when I'm gonna probably do the entire thing on powder table and then I'll tell you how much XP I got. Okay, so I just finished my cap for the port serim little like daily thing they have here. And I did strictly herb lore. Now, if I pull up my calculator right here, I started at 13,762,000, and I'm now at, see also in here, 13,840,000, 13,840,000, so, 13, by the way. Yes, I can map sometimes, but if we do this, 
you see that I gained 78,000 XP for my 2,000 at level 99. So that means that every one of these for level 99, I don't know if this is every other skill, I don't really feel like confirming it, but maybe someone else can, but that's about about 40 XP per, uh, what are these, a little token? Yeah, a little token, so not too bad. Am I, am I, I'm probably just going to keep doing this just to get um 100 herb wars. I should get 100 herb wars if it's, I don't know how long this is actually in here. It might be in for like a week, maybe two weeks, I don't know, but. Alright guys, in order to wrap up the video, I'm actually going to go ahead and just do my Reaper, which I just got, which is 6 of Raxi. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out, and I will show you all the loot. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that's probably one of the worst kills I've had in a very long time. But I need, I need to do more Raxi, honestly, but let's do the first loot. Hmm, 10 brews though. Well that's interesting, hope I don't actually get myself killed recording this, but uh... Just got 113 range. Maybe I can finish this up with a leg piece or some shit. Alright, note to self, do not record random shit. I, like, threw a, threw a Raxi P4, but okay, time for the next loot. And here's the next loot. Ooh, 90 block dragon, that's not too bad. And three more to go. Alright, here we go. Kill number four. Got some Onyx bolts and actually 13 brews. So one thing great about a Raxi is that, like, as long as you just use, don't use many brews, you're making profit brews, which. I really hope you're not using 13 brews to kill, but still, it's pretty profitable brews for me. And this is the fifth kill of the trip. Ooh, that's a really good drop, honestly. Alright, guys, that is my Raxi Reaper task completed. I'm at 349kc, I know. And maybe we'll see if we can get a bottom leg piece right here. Ooh, two Onyxes. That's, that's a good day. That's a good drop. I think that's going to pretty much wrap up here. And this will wrap up episode 3 very nicely. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. But before we get out, I just want to make a few quick announcements. The first thing I want to do is say thank you to everyone who's been supporting so far. And being leaving nice comments and all that other stuff. It's just, it's been such a good like motivator to just, you know, log on every day. And just make sure I work towards this series. And it's just, I really want to thank you guys real quick. Bottom of my heart. But, um. Any, the other thing I wanted to mention is that there's a playlist for the series, so every every um episode that will happen, they'll be on the series. And if you like, you know, if you uh, just stumbled upon this episode and you want to watch from the beginning, episode zero talks about my progress on this account before I started the series. And I also want to mention that I have a Twitter channel that is actually the same name as this um, YouTube channel at Overfletch, and I'll make little um updates on there about like maybe like. You know, having, I'm going to be late a video one day, or hey, I want to do this for, for a series, or not a series. I probably won't be doing a series for a very long time. I'll probably only do this one, but maybe a guide or anything else. Like, maybe I'll need a suggestion or sneak peeks, but any of that, you want to follow me over there. I usually do tweet pretty regularly. I used to a lot, but I'm going to get back into Twitter more again, but I think that's it. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention that my streaming schedule, not my streaming, sorry, video schedule. Um, the videos for here should be out every two to three days for this series. Now, this could go to maybe four days, re like semi soon. I actually have exams coming up, so that could make it go to four days. But at the moment, I pretty much see myself only doing two to three day videos because it's actually pretty easy for me right now. But yeah, that's about it. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and episode four should be out in a few days.